as you're using ArcGIS Pro, you're probably going to end up sharing data and creating services. And the ArcGIS Enterprise SDK allows you to extend ArcGIS Pro based services. And you'll do this using uh, server object extensions and server object interceptors. And this supports both uh, mapping and image services. You can also create custom web tools which result from publishing geospatial or geoprocessing um, services as well. And as a developer, this is available for you um, as a Java developer and also a .NET developer. And we'll take a look at more of that in a few minutes. So let's talk about Python. Python is available across the entire ArcGIS platform. Python is powerful, it's easy to use, and it's actually the most widely used scripting language by ArcGIS developers. The ArcGIS API for Python and Esri's ArcPy site package enable vast geospatial capability that can be delivered um, through Python notebooks, as we saw earlier. Many of you already use ArcPy, and if you don't, you should consider this. ArcPy gives you access to all of the geoprocessing tools in ArcGIS through Python and ArcPy modules. We're constantly adding new geoprocessing tools which become available in ArcPy for you. But we're also simplifying how you use these tools which result in fewer lines of code that you have to write to get your work done. So let's take a look at an example of this using the network analyst with Rachel from the network analyst team. Thanks, Jim. In my web map here, I have gray points representing houses for sale, from which I've selected a few based on some demographic criteria. Those are the orange points. Each house has a time window of availability for showing. I want a route that will maximize the number of houses I visit while minimizing my total travel time. I published a Python script tool to my ArcGIS Enterprise portal, which can generate this route for me. In my tool here, I've set my current address and my layer of selected houses as my inputs, and I've given names to my outputs. So let me go ahead and run this tool. This kind of routing problem is called a traveling salesman problem, or TSP, with time windows, and it's one of the more complex routing problems you can have. Behind the scenes, the server created an origin destination cost matrix between every stop and every other stop, and each path respects the time windows available on each stop. So for my outputs, I get an output route layer and a layer of my selected houses in order. Let me go ahead and turn off the houses I'm not interested in and turn on the visitation sequence for the houses I am interested in. Now, if I want to share this, these results with someone else, all I have to do is give them a link to this web map. That's pretty awesome functionality, so let me show you how it's done. With a few simple steps using arcpy.nax, the new network analyst arcpy module, I can add this network analysis to my workflow. First, I'll create a new instance of the solver object. I'm going to create a route because I want to solve a TSP. Next, I'll set up my field mappings for my input locations. I'll set the start and end times for my time windows. Then I'll load in my stops using the load function on the route object. I still need to set my analysis settings. Because I want the solver to find the best route between all the houses, I need to set the find best sequence property to true. Then I solve. Finally, I'll export the results I'm interested in, in this case, the routes and the houses, to permanent feature classes or feature services. With this tool, I utilized powerful network analysis to solve a real-world problem, stood it up as a service on my enterprise portal, and got results that I can conveniently share with others. And I did it all quickly and easily. As developers, you too have many opportunities to use arcpy.nax to add routing capabilities to your workflows.